now the ball's starting to bounce between the two teams and both teams are struggling to get the ball down and keep a real spell of possession it seems Mafuta into Osborne coming forward on the edge of the area unleashes a shot towards goal but that is flying high and wide over Jack by Cross crossbar one of, the, one of the bigger budgets in the league he's he, he's pretty honest Andy and he said it's a bit of a mid-table budget but what he's got he's got a team that's uh, playing well together a team that understand each other uh, that complement each other quite well but now they've got some defending to do that's a lovely little ball through from McEachern to Reese Fleet and uh, Nick Hayes closed down the angle beautiful reverse pass from McEachern did dare I say okay so far today obviously they haven't been rocked by early goals which we've seen so often in in recent weeks always chasing the game and we said last week didn't we if City can keep themselves in games they are capable of scoring goals it's when they're two or three down and, and it's sort of game over that's when the problems arise but now they have got some defending to Burley loses his footing and it means that Josh Kelly lays the ball back to Cade Craig on the edge of the penalty area City have some defending to do Kelly again still in the box Andre Burley just shepherding him so he goes back to Jamie Osborne curling effort from Osborne it's hit the bar in the corner of the apex actually the Moors Carroll over to Roberts turns out with his left foot finds Parker bounced it back City not getting ball with it McEachern moves forward marauds forward even finds Parker who's drifted out to the left moving it again into the midfield now with Fleet gets the ball out of his feet to Sanderson Solly Hull defending well here, keeping their shape. Roberts cuts back onto his left foot, finds Kirby around 30 yards out from goal, bounces a pass off McEachern, a 1-2, turns into a 3-4. McEachern keeps running forward with the ball. A few passes now put together from City. They have to keep going back to try and find an option, but they are keeping good control and taking good care of this football. Burley back to Carroll again they'll continue to move it from right to left Carroll long ball forward now looking for Tafari Moore he's made his move Moore keeps it in on the byline does really well actually Tafari Moore finds Kirby on the outside of the area and Kirby sends a shot towards goal over the crossbar didn't trouble Nick Hayes in the end but that was the move of the match pass move pass move pass move by Oxford City they moved Solly Hull's defenders all over the show eventually Nia Kirby thought he could have a crack at goal came close not close enough but really impressive stuff there from Oxford City a defeat Banbury Level oh, there's a chance here, and it's one on one with the goalkeeper. What a fantastic save that is from Jack Bycroft. A ball over the top again, and again it was Josh Kelly to run in one on one with Jack Bycroft. The keeper did everything right, came rushing off his line. Corner kick taken from City, taken short. Coyle sets it to McEachern. Screams of get out by the Solihull Moors defence. Here's Tafari Moore. Canis Carroll, who's playing almost like a right winger where he's in possession at the moment. He's drifted all the way out right. Fleet now, looking for an option. Has one in Coyle. City moving the ball really well again. Here's McEachern. Cuts into the centre of the field. Finds a little bit of space to run into. Continues. Flicks the ball to Sanderson. 1-2. McEachern on the edge of the box. Brilliant block from the shot. Solihull Moore's defending really well now. Here's throw in taken quickly by Solihull. Here's Ben... Benton, Warburton helps it on to Josh Kelly, eventually away. Sanderson, ball down the left to Fari Moore. He's a real thorn in Solihull's side at the moment. He's got Ollie Sanderson going forward in front of him. Finds McEachern in the centre of the field, looking for an option on the edge of the area. Parker with his back towards goal. Finds McEachern! And Oxford City take the lead at the Royal Charging Stadium. And in him fashion what a fantastic strike from Zach McEachern and in all honesty it was coming they've been exceptional at the start of this second half pass 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 they find McEachern on the edge of the area and he unleashes a pile driver into the back of the net and Oxford City take a very much deserved lead it's Oxford City 1 Solihull Moors 0 
to keep control of the ball. Eventually that attack breaks down though for Oxford City and Nick Hayes, the goalkeeper, will blast it up towards Mark Beck, but he's under pressure from Tafari Moore to do so. There's a chance here though for Matty Warburton, goes in on the edge of the area, this is the chance, and Solihull Moors do equalise, and just in under the 65th minute, they, they are level in this game, it's Matty Warburton who evades detection inside the... Inside the uh, box to run in on Jack Bycroft's goal. The City goalkeeper made a fantastic save just a few moments before in the game. He could do nothing about that. Fantastic finish from Matty Warburton and all of a sudden it's game on at the Raw Charging Stadium once more. It's Oxford City 1, Solly Hall Moores 1. What are these two teams made of? Oxford City going ahead, playing well, set back for them. The heads haven't gone down. Sanderson works his way to the byline, tries to find Parker, drops to the edge of the area to Fleet, takes a touch, looking for an option. Has Kirby and McEachern. McEachern to Fleet, chested down, and that's a big chance for the City skipper, who blazes a left-footed volley over the crossbar. Well, that's a big chance. He gets himself up, Reese Fleet, after his head in his hands. Another brilliant work move by Oxford. Yeah, lines. yeah definitely. Well, what a treat we've been we've been watching today you got two teams fighting for every ball players giving absolutely everything for their causes and playing some really good stuff too it's been thoroughly entertaining 15 minutes left is there a winner in this Josh Parker has the ball now and he threads the ball through but uh, ball kind of gets a little bit stuck under the feet of the city man Reese Fleet but uh, he's come away with the ball and I think that's a uh, good bit of skill from Fleet because initially the, the pass from Parker got stuck under his feet now there's a chance for City into the penalty with Mac Zach McEachern oh. just wide wow wow what a chance good what a chance move. yeah great move great run into the box from McEachern and he's fizzed that wide that one definitely kept Nick Hayes interested That's there the opts to go back inside to Whitmore Benton's made a, an early run and Clark brings the ball over the halfway line from Whit from uh, the substitute Callum Maycock and then a ball in from Kelly control well on his chest good effort hit the bar and it's got off it's deflected actually off Canis Carroll really good effort from Kelly on the edge of the box hit the uh, Canis Carroll's foot and it's deflected over the bar well it hit the bar it hit the top of the bar and went over for a corner and Solly Hole will be desperate to get the three points here because uh, their playoff bill although they are still in the playoffs has fallen off the rails a, a little bit in the last few weeks but uh, they're on the front foot here as they look for a winner. Little uh, dink ball over the top. City got some defending to do here and uh, really, and it's a chance here and there's an opportunity. And it's going to be in, it's a great save. I don't know how that stayed out, fantastic save from Jack Pycroft. Still not the danger clear. Wow. I didn't see wow. who got the shot there, but it was cleared off the line. City still haven't cleared it. Still, st still with Stolly, still with the try, another great save. And it's gone in. Oh, dear me. Some terrific saves and some terrific defending, but they didn't clear their lines. And heartbreak for Oxford City, three minutes to go. And Solly Moores have somehow drilled the ball into the net. And it's Oxford City one, Solly Moores two. That is so, so harsh on Jack Bycroft, who has just made the save of the season. Oxford City defending on the line multiple times, but they just couldn't clear their lines to get the ball away. And Solihull Moors look like they've nicked it through Jack Stevens.